Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to React Andy Steins Gate. Tonight we're on episode 21. Last episode, just watched it, episode 20. Um, It was, a lot of things happened. Honestly, I was fine with it up until the last five seconds. And I will, so, okay, so what happened up to the five seconds? Um, Mr. Braun is FB. Uh, I wasn't too, surpri too surprised by that. I, I Not too blindsided, we're fine with that one. Um, he shoots Maka and shoots himself because he's trying to protect his kid because CERN will kill his kid if he doesn't clean up the loose ends and all that stuff. Sure. Um, we're jumping back in time, so we're going to fix this anyways, so I'm not too distraught about it. Um, Moeka kind of is turning a new, turned a new leaf, right? She um, shows a lot of character development in the last episode with like apologizing to Okabe as she's bleeding out. Um, Along with all sorts of stuff, so she's showing some humanity, so I, I can respect her a bit, a bit more, um, and sympathize her with a bit more. Mr. Braun, I'm not touching him. He or a hoe. You, you're a landlord that's messing with my rent. Don't joke about raising my rent by a thousand extra yen. I'm tight on money. I'm a student, okay. <laughs> um, but the part that really bothers me, right at the end, we get the IBN back. Daru's over there, <laughs> super hacking it up. We're having a good time. He says, "Yeah, we're ready to go in like ten minutes, guys. Like I'm ready to go," and. Makise turns to Okabe and says, um, like the first D-mail, huh? We're gonna go back to the original where I got stabbed to death or whatever. And Okabe looks over like, like, why would you say that? Like plastered on his face. And she says like, what, did you feel me up or something? And it's like, Makise, what are you talking about? Huh? You can't, I, you're accusing me. You're making, I don't know if she's making a joke that's just trash. Or that she's like, she's like making a jest. She's making a really weird joke that Okabe felt up her corpse in the original world line or something weird like that. Like that's the joke. And that's not something that I think ok that Makise would say. They ha She hasn't even mentioned her own death like the entire series since like episode like four when they were like, when she was like, haha, like I'm gonna die because it was kind of part of Okarin's gimmicks. Um, because he was like, Okarin was all wild, mad scientist, right? So, like, nothing he said really had, um, like, weight. So, like, but we haven't talked about that in forever. So, for her to bring it up and then say the weirdest, like, out of left field comment is really suspicious to me. Um, and is really kind of messing me up because Makise is the one that I've trusted the most through all of this. Other than, like, I trust Okarin, um, because he's kind of main character. But Makise has been my babe. She's been the realest one. So... <sighs> I'm really not looking forward to seeing if she's actually, like, doing something saucy. I mean, she did work for CERN in that other world line, to be fair. That could be a situation. But it, it's hard to imagine that all the moments she's had with Ocarine has been fake. So, I guess we'll get into that this episode. Uh, the other alternative, which I did mention, was that... Um, Ocarine's reaction to her talking about her own death was because he was reminded that she has to die um, in order to jump to beta branch. Because if we go back to the original D, uh, like get rid of all the D mails, go back to the original line, that in that one, Makise dies. Um, I don't know if it's actually true. He is assuming that Makise has to die to jump to beta branch. We don't know that. Um, I mean, maybe she does. Maybe beta branch has her dying at that point, but maybe she doesn't. Um, it's hard to say. Uh, it's very hard to say because we don't know about the de the the predetermined deaths very well. All we've seen it with is Mayushi and a little bit with Maweka. Um, but maybe that's like every death is a has to be at a certain time in a world line, or maybe it's just certain people. I, we don't really know, so it's kind of hard to to tell. Um, I uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, is Okarin really gonna be able to make the Makise sacrifice in order to save the world? I mean, I guess. I mean, you have to because it, I think he's gonna pick Mayushi over Makise. Um, it would be horrible, and it would kill him, but he I think he would, especially if you put into, like, Suzuha's entire mission was to jump to Beta Branch. And so if Makise has to die, then Makise has to die, um, which sucks because she's the best one. But we're just going to watch the episode and see if she actually has to die, because who freaking knows. I swear, if she's a double agent or something, I'm going to get so mad. I'm going to lose my mind. And the worst part is maybe, like, I'm totally misreading it. But I just, I just don't know anymore. Okay, run the episode. 
Episode 21. Am I on 21? I just need to be sure. Yep. Okay. Three, two, one. Bang! Makise dies. It's returned to the beta line. That's the crazy thing. How are you buffering when the entire bar is white? And I'm on 480p. That doesn't make sense. All right. Three, two, one. Bang! Please. Right. Three, two, one. Bang! I don't actually hit it. I'm kind of overreacting. Okay, so is Monkey Say just what 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 line was that? That she was feeling him up? Did I misread that? Monkey Say, what kind of joke was that? Was that a joke? Did I mishear you? I watched it back like seven times. Dude. Alright, am I throwing the reaction? I'm sorry if I am. I'm sorry. Dude. I think I'm gonna throw up. That's the crazy thing. Like, this just upsets me. Like, I'm a my stomach is upsetted and I'm tense and I have to talk about it. That's the really difficult part for me because it's like, I'm here, right? I'm chatting, and how am I supposed to talk about how much this like just makes me uncomfortable? And now we're playing the do we have to kill Makise game. But what was she talking about? She smirked while asking about feeling up her corpse. That's not something that Makise would say, right? I'm not crazy for that, right? I can't be. And now Okabe is having doubts. He says we're not doing it. I swear, Makise. I swear, Makise. Also, Okabe, I'm going to be honest. I'm feeling it right now. I'm feeling that you have to do what you have to do. And if that includes, if we have to kill Makise to save the world, it's the world. We'll get there. Let's see what, how Okarin takes it. I don't think we necessarily have to, so we got to figure it out. Why is he on the roof? I didn't see the time. I didn't see the date. It's okay. I got to recenter myself. Balance my, my key. Remember, anime is to be enjoyed. Let's just let's just be happy. Why don't you go talk to him, Maki? Say. Is Okarin trying to decide? Is Okarin just like gonna stay and keep jumping back in time and enjoying this to prolong making the decision for like an indeterminate amount of time? Because he could put this decision off as long as he wants to. Aww. She cares about him so much. My Yushi, my beloved, my sweet. Is he gonna go with her? Oh, booty. We just got a face full of booty. Right? He went with her. Right? What a weird system this is. What if she doesn't die? Because we don't really know how this works. I mean, he's making assumptions that the rule is going to maintain. Which it might, but... There's just so many assumptions everywhere, and it's so hard. Aww. What is it, Neon Genesis? I think if Okarin read that, he would die. He would have a mental overdose. Real life trauma. <laughs> uh, okay. You should, yeah. She's carrying this conversation. Yeah, she's worried about him. It's not as funny anymore. It's not as funny because it's actually real. <laughs> I'm s this isn't fun anymore. This just makes me sad. Ocarina is a great character, though. Juice? We got juice? What kind? Strawberry? 
Don't give up. Find it? Find what? He wants both. He wants both. He doesn't want to jump lines because he doesn't want Makise to die. I'm still confused about that line Makise said. Where are you, Makise? Oh my gosh, don't look through Daru's shelf. Holy crap, there's just gonna be... <laughs> uh... Okay. <sighs> Feel me up, or was it just? I don't know. I just gotta. I just gotta. I gotta reset. I gotta figure out what's going on. We have to tighten up. He doesn't, cause yeah, if he jumps to beta line and she dies, it's gonna be so hard to figure out how to jump lines again. Like, it just gets so tangled. So he doesn't want to keep making it complicated. Poor guy, he doesn't want to hurt. He hung up on her. I love Ocarine. I think he's the best character in the show. What time is it? He has just gotten so much development, how, like, all the crazy lunatic ravings from the beginning of the show were foreshadowing. Are you tired? Yeah, he's tired. He's been tired a long time, Mayushi. You can see the bags under his eyes. Uh, how's it gonna happen this time? Is it even gonna happen? Is he gonna have to weigh the world of it, weigh his two best friends alive, or the the life of Mayushi and Makise over the future, or like the future of humanity, right? With Cer the CERN ending. <laughs> this is she's making a. Like, you have to talk to me. Oh, she's so sweet. She's non-confrontational. Man, it's crazy. Okarin's been able to loop back around to his, like, eccentric self a little bit after everything that's happened, right? <laughs> ah! You hear him doing that voice? Is she gonna die? There we go, Hyurian Kyoma. <laughs> so what thought like remember all her grandma stuff too? I thought that said her she was arrested. I was about to lose my mind instead of interested. She's dead. I don't need to flinch that hard. There it is again. I can't keep doing this, man. Don't! No, Okarine, don't die. You can't die. That's the worst pot. Oh, Okarine. She's, did she save him and that killed her? Because that's going to mess him up.
That's just cruel. That's just cruel. <laughs> that shot of like Mayushi and Maki say like twirling around, that was crazy. Yeah, it reminds me of the grandma thing again. How she like raised her hand for it, you know? Ocarine, don't do something insane. Want to talk to you, Kurisu. Yeah, can we just talk to Makise again? I wanna talk to Makise. Though I still am, don't know how I feel about Makise. I'm still feeling weird. This music's really good. I love that uh, kind of music box thing. Back to the roof. Uh, this sucks. Poor Ocarine. I love this stupid guy. Is it Mayushi again? That's no, Makisei. What's up, Makisei? Just lay with me, Makisei. Sit down next to me. We gotta talk. I have to kill you, Makise, but I don't want to. Talk to her about it. He does have a tendency to put it on himself and not want to not wanna share the burden with everyone around him. Which I think is a weakness of his. <laughs> what? What was... Yeah, when he acted like that, Maki, or Mayushi died again, right? Yeah, um, that's a huge red flag for his mental state. Oh, Maki, say, please don't be a time demon. I'm going to be so mad if you're evil. You have to be good. I don't trust anyone anymore. <laughs> I have to sacrifice the thing I love the most. Dude. Maki says ride or die. And she's literally gonna die. Oh my. <laughs> she's good. She can't be evil. I'm tweaking. We're fine. Okay, thank you. He, they're giving me a recap. What message did he send? He wait. I'm gonna have. I think he said he didn't know. So that one line he sent like triggered, um, CERN, to know. Yeah, you die. Who killed her though? Who killed her? I don't freaking know, dude. Who's calling me? It's a scammer? No, no, no. No, I don't want to. No, this is Myri. <gasps> Monkey said, don't jump. 
My, what's that look in her eyes, dude? Mike, see, if you jump, I'm going back in time. That's not your fault, Mayushi. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is too much pressure. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I don't- what was that clip from? Probably the beginning. Mayu, she's so nice. She's so sweet. What a- what a beautiful human being. No. Hurt your pride? No. <laughs> Maki say that's not the I need I need I don't know what I need. Poor Ocarine. What do you mean you just called me? Pick up the phone. Dude, I would snap under the pressure. Oh, is she gonna go die? We got a couple hours till that, I thought. Oh, yeah. We're back to the... He's trying to get glimpses of the past. Oh, she went to go see her grandma. That's why nobody knows where she is. Ooh, she's getting the like the reading Steiner effect that um that everyone was getting um with like Ruka and Fer Ferris. She's getting that with her own death. It's crazy. There's the dragonfly again. That stupid dragonfly. I can't do this. Does this have a good ending? It's gotta, right? Butterfly effect. There's gotta be a good ending to this somehow. I don't know how, though. I miss Suzuha. Suzuha was so good. Remember when we were so happy with Suzuha ha literally carrying and then she like hangs herself and then we're happy because Mayushi a real one and then Mayushi gets shot to death. And then we're happy with Karisu being a real one and then she says the weirdest line I've ever heard about fondling her corpse. Uh, let me listen to this. <laughs> Aww. Just exist with each other? Yeah. That's a- that's a really- that's kind of goals. Just be able to exist with someone. Aww. You saw some kind of illusion. 
この通りで終わりエリーオカベは、ビルディフェンス。ヒーズビン、トーン、アパート。There's the little Oopa ball or whatever. But now, yeah, he's gone through so much. And now he has such a decision ahead of me. It looks like he's really suffering. Yeah, that's honestly true. Which sucks because he's so, such a good character. It's like a, it's like a like man against fate, you know? It's just such a, such a horrible position to be in. Ah. <sighs> Can't stay this way forever. What does that mean? Is he gonna have to. Is he gonna maintain her as his hostage, right? Kind of continuing their thing? Or is he finally gonna have to learn to let her go? But he can't let her go. He has to let Makise go. <laughs> Because she seems to. She has like a narrative thing, right? Where she was going to like return to her grandma and slip away, and then Okabe、um, stopped her and made her, her his hostage to like keep her like grounded, right?、Um, so, like, if she had to die, it would be like learning to let go of like someone super important to you. Like, that would make a lot of narrative sense to me. But she's not the one that has to die. Makise is. Why are we cutting to the lack of satellite with the scariest music I've heard in like. in like two months? I don't know what music I heard two months ago. Oh, Makise is looking at where she died. Makise, what is going on? Don't hit the. <laughs> I can't keep doing this. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? <laughs> run, the, run the ED. Run the ED. <laughs> Our vision controlled by Subwood fills with cruelty. Yeah, this is cruel. I'm glad the, the ED lyrics agree with me. Does anything even happen in this stupid thing? Episode trash, stupid episode. M what is Makise doing with these red blinking lights? And there's like a thread of time. Did you see that? Let me see if I can find it. Right here, I think. What is that? I'm going in 1080p. Give me that 1080. It's lagging because it's in 1080 and it's like having trouble. It's fine. This is why I don't do it in 1080. We'll find it. Okay, I'm just gonna have to refresh the page. I just can't believe this show right now. Okay. What? What does this mean? Is she like getting glimpses of her death through the reading Steiner ability? Um. And that led her back to her actual death place? But what's with this insano music, o What is with that? This is why I'm starting to really get worried about Makise. Not her dying, but just her in general, because she is acting so weird. <laughs> I won't watch 22. I know 22 is the big one. 22 is the huge one, so I won't watch 22 until I read the comments for these last two videos. So don't you sweat that. Um, This shot was crazy. With Okabe trying to. If I let that car hit. It's just the desperation where he's willing. He wants to throw his life at it just to see if that will fix it. If I can change fate. Like, like he's. That's how desperate he's become. Um.
if I let that card hit me if I die here. Like, that's just such an insane line to be reading from Ocarina. If I let the car hit me, if I die here, oh my my beautiful Koyan Koyama, like what is he? What has happened to him? And I don't really understand what Maki what was happening with it. Maki say after he spilled the beans, she she like shut down completely. He says like you're destined to die in the beta line. And then she's like, yeah, answer answer my Yushi's phone. Like, do it. Um, He dies. And then she's like, you won't be able to come up with any answers. That's why you're sitting here alone. Like, stop wounding my pride. Only The only thing that will happen if you stay and worry is that you'll hurt my pride. Like, my, my, Maki said, what are you talking about? I, like, need to talk with you because you're the smartest one about this whole time like about trying to save your life right now i need you for this so for you to say like that we're ending the conversation go to mayushi um like that's not what i want right now i need this i need to talk to you this is <sighs> and, like ocarina's starting to like see things that aren't there which could be like narrative, but it could like, I don't know. I feel like time's starting to leak away into things that don't make sense. Like it's starting to just get insane. Uh, how is this supposed to resolve in one more episode? I mean, just like he's gonna make the decision to let her die. Who kills her though? Let me think about who kills her. All right, let's think of every character we know. Um, see, so she went to a time travel conference. She, um, I mean, it, we don't know where her dad is. Her dad is jealous of her. I can't, like, it would, I don't, her dad's not going to kill her, right? I mean, that's just kind of silly. Um, I mean, maybe. Who freaking knows, right? Probably not. Um, she was killed at a time travel conference, and she's super smart. So she could have been killed by CERN for, like, getting too close to the formula. Um, but you would think that CERN would just, like, um try to incorporate like be like hey like work for us you know um because she does work for cern in one of the alpha lines um so i could see that happening uh, i could see that happening instead of her getting killed by cern though it could have been cern i guess for her getting too close to the truth um it's not like suzaha I did blame Suzaha for it at, at one point, I think. No, it just isn't Suzaha, because Suzaha came from the future, um, stopped in this time zone to try to find her dad, which ended up being Daru. Shoutouts to Daru, but... Um, and then went back in time further to get the IBN to them, to put the IBN in the shrine so that the, then it would go to Ocarine. Um, which... And then, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she took care of um, Mr. Brown during that. Mr. Brown. It's just crazy to think that she took care of Mr. Brown and she is anti-CERN from the future and Mr. Brown ended up working for CERN. That is so hard for me to like crack in my head. Just like, what? Because we don't know about his whole manhole thing. I mean, I guess that probably happened when he was super young, and then he undercover started working for CERN, and then was starting to get taken care of by, um, Suzaha. Dude, this show is too much. It's too much. It's a complicated, like, spy- It's good. It's great. I'm, I'm liking it. But it's a complicated spider web that's just made of barbed wire. That the more you untangle it, the more, like, your, your hands get cut up. And now, like, we have Ocarine, who is just, like, used to be, like, we have such, we have, like, whenever he goes into the Hyoin Kuriyama mode, that's, like, his, like, state before everything went wrong. That's his non-traumatized state. So to see him, like, temporarily go to that, like, when he's around Mayushi, 
is like really it has this like underpinning of such sadness because we know that he's faking it for her um because he's actually in, he's actually suffering right um but he's trying to mask it with the guys that he used to run with with the whole Helion Kiyama thing that's just terribly sad um I'm gonna actually do something really radical I'm gonna go back to episode 20 I because I just I watched these two together right I'm gonna go to the end where Makise was acting weird and I'm gonna see what she says again to see if it makes more sense to me. The first D mail, huh? That's the one where I was stabbed or whatever, right? She didn't know that yet, right? Because in episode 21, oh, I'm putting it together. Because here in the next episode, he says, July 28th, Mayuri and I went to the press conference. There. There I saw Makase Karisu collapsed after being stabbed by someone, but I didn't, but I don't know who. Sent a text to Daru's cell phone, which was connected to the phone microwave. The first email. The message that moved us to the alpha line. So, yeah, so, that was probably CERN that killed her, I guess. And when he sent the message, it like, made CERN aware that there was time travel going on, so they didn't kill Makise and instead started focusing on Okabe. Something like that. I don't know. Um, that's a guess. But the thing is, he tells her about her death. Episode 21. Episode 20, she says, quote, that's the one where I was stabbed or whatever, right? Did she get a glimpse of the reading Steiner and saw her and knew, uncover this information? And then she says, say it. Did you try to feel me up or something? What does that mean? I'm not misreading it. I can't be. Um. Feel me up. Feel me up means to touch. I'm not loco moco. I'm not. Dude, I don't know what's going on with Makise. I don't trust her. I'm, I've, she's lost my trust. I don't trust her. She's made me terrified. I'm more, I'm scared. I'm scared. Cause she's acting in ways that she's feel me up or something when talking about her corpse. Unless like feel me up, she's saying in a really, really weird way that by feel me up, she actually means like feel up my memories or feel up this information or something. I'm looking up the de feel me up definition. I hate stupid. This show is too much. To touch one in sexual manner, especially by groping a woman's breasts. I'm not crazy. She's working with. She worked with information she didn't have, and it traumatized him. And as soon as he tells her about her dying, she starts acting really weird. And then she has this suspicious, stupid moment where at the end where she goes to where she dies and like codes running like this crazy red line stripe and is this blinking red and it's, it's scary and it's terrible and then the episode ends because they're cruel maki says not to be trusted and that hurts me to say because they have had the cutest like most shippable moments they have been the real one okabe and maki say the entire time they've been the power duo with suzuha as the goat but them three have been the main, the, the three powerhouses, but Makise has been part of the triple, you know? So for her to start acting in these ways, which I don't trust, is really messing me up. I wish Suzuha was here. Dude. And it would make narrative sense for Mayushi to be the one to be sacrificed because of the stuff but that's not the thing it's not about choosing mayushi or makise it's about sacrificing makise to save mayushi and the planet the it's my it's mayushi plus civilization versus makise plus cern because if you go with the makise route cern wins if you go with the mayushi route where mayushi lives and makise dies makise all right guess what cern loses because they get the they win but 
there's just so many bits. And there's still... Oh my gosh, there's still the, like, Mayushi from a thousand years ago thing, or ten million years ago. Um... Which, time machines are possible, so they could have been stranded in time at some point. Though, I don't really see that, like, I don't know. Maybe that'll be, like, episode 24, 25 territory. Um... CERN's probably who kills Makise, because they don't have another lead, so they for some reason kill Makise. That's the best guess I have. Um, unless, like, the you know, to what I thought for a moment somewhere in there? I don't know when I thought it, but I thought, what if Okabe has to be the one to kill Makise? Like, he has to go back in time, murder Makise, and then slip out to ensure that they stay on the line. So the original, like, original line that they, the original line, world line? Jeez, that took me, like, four tries. The original original world line actually had two Okabe's in it. Like, I don't know, maybe. That would be crazy. Though, I don't, I mean, that's just me thinking what's the biggest twist possible is that the Makise's killer was Okabe. That's the biggest twist possible. Um, so that could have been the case. It could also be her dad, I guess. But, I mean, the one that makes the most sense is CERN. So we're going to stick with CERN. Though, if I'm right about one of those crazy Hail Marys, you know, your boy does it. Your boy's built different. Okay. Um, this show is killing me. This is actually killing me. And I can't believe I have to wait a week to get any resolution to this. Because I gotta... Because, I, you know, I, I want to hear what y'all have to say before I jump into the next one. Um, I can't believe Makise can't be trusted right now. Has she had any weird moments throughout the series? Because the sides we see of her, there's like default Makise, there's like embarrassed Makise whenever she's like 4chan or whatever. Um, and then there's like the Makise we, we saw this episode, which is like the ultra serious Makise, where she was like talking about pride and like all that stuff. And she's not usually like that. Like she's usually in kind of an in-between spot. Um, so it's really weird for her to see that. And then that weird, like, joke she, she said last episode with information she didn't have access to is really tripping with me. Unless she had access to the information, though I don't think she did. That wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense. Nothing makes sense. Ah. Uh, well, the, fun's, the fun of it's not it not making sense, right? Like, I'm not, um, I don't know. I'm not ripping on it, um... Oh, man. And for him to say that Hyo and Kiyama made it all up, that's just... At least Makise is someone that he's he's the most vulnerable with, which is why they're so shippable, and I love them. I swear... Do we see a guy running away? With, like, Ocarine's body figure? I swear. What if there's two Ocarines in the first episode, right? Like, there's something crazy? And if you go back, there's, like, some crazy foreshadowing. Yeah, say my stupid beloved. I hate you. I can't trust you. I don't hate you. I just don't trust you. I think... Okay, okay. Let's think about what... This could be a long... And this could be a broken up end commentary. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. Um... Let's think about Makise for a second here. Makise. What would make Makise, like, evil, right? Because I'm worried that I can't trust Makise. What's, like, worst case scenario? Or, like, what, what scenarios could that even look like? Where she's not to be trusted and she's been playing everyone. I, that's the problem. I don't know. She, I... I mean, she could always work for CERN, I guess. Um... And the only foreshadowing for that that I could think of is that she eventually does work for CERN in one of the Alpha Lines, the one that Suzuha's from. Um, so I guess that's a potential um, that she's working, she's already working for CERN. And I mean, to be fair, she's already a time scientist. So from America, CERN's in France though. We did learn that. And she's from America. Dang, if, if CERN was in America, I would say that Makise's been an undercover CERN agent the entire time. I, that would be enough to make me make that guess. Um, but no, CERN's in France. Is anyone else in France? Why France? Who was in Paris? Funny joke. Um, 
Um, why France? France has just got to be random. France got to be random. We don't we don't roll with France. <laughs> uh, okay. What else could Makise be? Makise could be. <laughs> I, I, okay, joke answer. Makise is Mayushi with a wig. Okay, let's get that out of the way. That just means nothing. Uh and the only reason the reason I said that that probably came out of um the original theories that I was talking about with Mayushi being like a time like some sort of time thing that she's like way in the know and she's trying to like stay with Okarine. It's like an obsession thing. The, none of that's actually panned out at all. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I don't know. That's the thing. That's why it's throwing me so much. I've trusted her so much. She has been the realest, realest one. She's been the smart. She's been with Okarine. She's been the vulnerable, the person he can talk to, um, the, the babe, the one that is the most attractive. And so for her to be acting so suspiciously is really messing with me. I Okay, I think what happened is... Either she's working with information that she's not supposed to have, and Okarine didn't react to it the way that I think he would, and I'm referring to last episode, um, the end of last episode with that, that whole shindig. Either that, she's working with information she, sh she shouldn't be, and that's suspicious, and that means she has an insider knowledge thing, or, or, um, she got a reading Steiner proc, right? She got information from Ocarine, and then just made the weirdest joke about feeling her up in reference to her corpse. <laughs> and it was a weird reading, reading Steiner thing. Or maybe there's like a mistranslation or something. I mean, those are the two, the two places I'm at. Uh, I can't believe they ended the episode like that. That one was cruel. <sighs> I don't trust her. She saw where she died. I'm, I'm running this back. I'm watching this one more time. Mm, yeah, I am. And then I'm gonna end the episode. That'll be a good spot. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say about this one. What is that? <sighs> Can I get it to like at least 720p? That running red line, if there's like numbers in there, that's a big deal. Okay, I'm gonna turn it to 1080 and I'm gonna like refresh my page. Cause I this is actually like key information here. Where is it at? 21. 20, like 22 something. It's numbers, 91959, just zipping. Huh? 7-4. Dude, does she have like some sort of thing? Like, cause think of the, um, the thing Suzaha had, right? The, that tells you the divergence number it's like this weird red red color thing that appears when she's looking around i don't know man that's messing with me so much this show is crazy all right let's end the episode there on to the next episode 22 then we have the rest of the episodes, and we have the movie, I think. Um, wow. And there's an end credit scene next episode. That's going to be crazy to watch. On to the next episode 22. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Sorry. I do want to kind of, like, not apologize, but, like, obviously these last two episodes have been, like, I've been kind of scatterbrained. It's just, like, such a difficult um, to comment on because it's, like, she's acting so weird. And I keep talking about it, but it's just, like... It's like more of a gut feeling than anything else. Um, so I'll just leave it at that. 
Uh, hopefully it wasn't too scared of rain to fall. Um, but yeah, on to the next episode 22. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you're new. Um, and we have a great rest of your day, night, dawn, evening, whatever it is, whatever you're doing. I hope you do great. But until then, till the next episode, I'm out of here. Peace.